Some of you guys are asking me about my music. I make all my own music and you can find my music at my website, naturalglandbodybuilding.com, as well as workout programs and all the rest. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Girl and Bodybuilding and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about eating and whether you should let yourself get hungry or not before you're doing your weight training workouts. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this but I'm going to show you a clip right now that I just took with my iPhone. This one right now is with my 70D camera and then I just recorded myself quickly in the kitchen so trust me it's just me a, a short clip so don't worry about the low quality. So here's that uh, six grain cereal that I was telling you about. It's a Bob's Red Hill six grain cereal. <clears throat> I'll put a link down below and see if you can find it on Amazon there. Uh, but anyway yeah it has uh a bunch of stuff in there which is pretty good it has organic whole grain wheat uh rye organic corn uh whole grain oats all that kind of stuff so uh spelt so basically it's just a bunch of grains you know kind of like uh, and some flaxseed and everything in there but you can see by the the nutritional value it's actually pretty good like only two grams of fat seven grams of protein and 30 grams of carbs with uh, six grams of fiber so it's a pretty good profile for a carb so yeah if you're gonna have a carb this is kind of a yeah pretty perfect one for that so yeah, it's, it's kind of, the corn thing is like the grits, right? That's that's what the grits are, you know, so there's a bit of a grit in there. But yeah, that's that's what I'm eating right now, and here it is cooking right now. So you got to boil it for about uh, a few minutes or whatever, and then uh, keep it on warm and stir it for about 20 minutes to, to cook it. But usually what we do is we make a batch, like a big batch of it ahead of time, and then, you know, I just warm up or reheat something just for five minutes on a pan. And then it's quick, right? So I just put a duck egg on top of it or something to add some extra protein, and that's about it. So this is an example of a food that I have before I go to the gym. I'll have some chicken in here, and I'll just reheat some of that cereal, or I'll have brown rice and chicken. That's that's my main staples most of the day. So I'm having a carb and a protein added in, and I'm eating this about four or five times a day, and sometimes I will have a red meat meal like I've talked to you guys about before. So yeah, I'm having quite a bit of carbs right now, and at the same time, I'm not putting on fat. Uh, I might retain water if I have too much here and there, but I'm actually staying fairly lean doing this and then putting on some muscle. Basically, the point of making this video is to talk to you a little bit about what happens to me when I get hungry, okay? So today is an example of this. I went out and I was busy with some errands and stuff, and then I went to the gym, and this is exactly what happened to my workout because I was actually starving about halfway through because I didn't eat enough. If you're gonna be burning off fat and stuff, there is some arguments out there where people say if your glycogen is low and then you go do your cardio, you'll burn some more body fat and stuff like that. But as a general rule, you want to make sure that the muscles and the carb stores are fed so basically the glycogen stores in the muscle are fed and then when you train then you're using all of that energy and that protein for recovery so you're not in a starvation or a catabolic mode when you're training so a lot of times people think that what they do during the day doesn't matter when they get to the gym but anybody that's advanced in this sort of game you know been around bodybuilding for a while will say well they have totally different workouts if they make sure that their eating is on point throughout the day and then they go to the gym it's almost like you can feel like you're actually flat like your muscles are deflated if you don't eat enough and you notice that your strength is down your endurance is down so the whole point is is that you don't want the food to be the weak link when you're trying to put on muscle you want the food to be there so that way your body can properly use it yeah, we'll see how this goes feel pretty good today except for I didn't eat as much as I should have today because uh, I had to go shopping and do a bunch of errands and stuff so I'm just trying to get the workout in. Uh, I should be, I'm a bit hungry. It's usually unusual for me. I don't like to work out when I'm hungry. So I'm gonna do a quicker workout today. Um, but yeah, I'll get the obligatory sort of training in, then I'm gonna go get some sushi. Rep, one extra rep, so 
did the overreaching for three or four days on bench press, and then I went to one day off or two days off actually at bench press, and then now I've got an extra rep. So now the point is, my strength was actually half decent today but my strength endurance was down a bit because I'm not doing a 10 set bench press workout here. I'm just doing about five sets and then I'm gonna move on to some back, okay? Now the thing is, is that I started to get so hungry that I just didn't want to train anymore and I noticed that my energy started to fade a little bit, my blood sugar started to drop. So this is kind of how not eating enough can kind of hurt you a little bit. It can actually lower the amount of volume that you can do in a workout. And the other thing is I did take a couple days off, so that means my glycogen stores were filled with less food, right? I wasn't burning off glycogen in the day before or uh, even two days before I actually had a couple days off so this allowed me to be able to go through a day where I wasn't eating quite as well because I wasn't constantly burning calories so you have to be impeccable to what your activity levels are and if you're really busy and really active you will have to make sure that your eating is on point whereas sometimes if you take a day off or something like that well yeah maybe you know you haven't burned up all the glycogen from the last few meals so maybe you can get away with the crime of not eating reg regularly, right? So that's the difference. So today's workout was actually pretty decent for strength, that's for sure. The success story right there because as you can see, I did multiple reps, more than five reps for five sets. So something has changed, my groove has changed. Not to mention this bar might be a little bit lighter or something, so who knows, there might be a deviation there, but it looks like I actually put on quite a bit of strength from overreaching and then taking a couple days off and then hitting the bench again. I already did some heavy bench press, so I'm just going to do one exercise for each body part. I'm going to do heavy pull downs, then I'm going to go to some biceps, and that's it. Then I'm going to get something to eat. Now again, you're gonna see the repercussion of how not eating right uh, caused me to burn out early in this workout. So yeah, stay tuned, you're gonna see it. So. The thing is, is that I find that eating regularly and having that blood sugar stable throughout the day constantly ensures that your body is being fed what it needs as it needs it. Instead of just waiting till you starve and then eating, like a lot of people let their blood sugar drop then eat, at that point it's too late. Every time you let your blood sugar drop during the day, you've actually already siphoned off some of your energy from a workout. pounds on there right now so the, the hardest part is me just getting down into the seat so let's see how this goes So I did a bit of chest and a bit of back there, but I am hungry. So one thing I don't believe in doing is training when I'm hungry, especially when I'm trying to gain muscle. If I'm super hungry, I'm kind of starving in there, that means the body will have a tendency to go catabolic. It's not gonna be as much amino acids in the system. That's where sometimes drinking branched chain amino acids or glutamine or something like that during your workout can help with that. But ideally, you wanna have some food and some glycogen in your muscles and stuff. So I got a little sidetracked tonight. I didn't really plan on this, but I ended up looking at a car and uh, because I was doing that, I went for test drive, everything, I got kind of totally sidetracked and I missed a meal as I was out here. So uh, that's what I did. So not my fault, I got a little sidetracked. But anyway, now I'm gonna go get something to eat and then I'm gonna go home and then I'll train my other body part. I'll train biceps and maybe do a little bit of calves or something like that. And that's about it. 
So some days I have bigger workouts than others. Sometimes they're shorter workouts, but as long as you get something in, that's the most important thing. So thanks a lot for watching, and thanks to the Patreon subscribers that are allowing me to make this content for you guys. If you want to become a Patreon subscriber, just go to patreon.com under Natural Glam Bodybuilding. And if you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalglambodybuilding.com, and there I sell training programs along with music that I use in these videos. So thanks a lot for watching, and take care for now. Oh, oh yeah, and share my stuff. Come on, like, help me get my stuff out there. It's the least you could do. It's a, we're family, huh? It's the least you could do. We're family, huh? Yeah?